हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो की हाल चाल आई होप इट गुड इन दिस वीक इज प्रॉब्लम नंबर थ्री लाइक प्रॉब्लम नंबर वन एंड टू विच इज थ्री वन एट फोर एंड थ्री वन एट फाइव बोथ आर एक्जैक्टली सेम इज जस्ट दैट द कंस्टेंट्स आर अबेट लाइट कंस्टेंट्स आर अबेट हार्ड सो पॉइल अलर्ट इफ यू हैव वॉच टू सम वीडियो ऑफ आर्स इज इट इट इज एक्जैक्टली सेम exactly same the question itself is exactly same cool let's see it simply says that we are given integer array hours representing that time in hours so you have this array hours where it represents 12 hours 12 hours 30 hours 24 hours 24 hours okay now we have to return the integer denoting the number of pairs i and j such that hours of i and hours of j forms a complete day A complete day is defined as a time duration that is exactly multiple of twenty-four. Now, if I break it down, I would have asked you rather right 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 now the complete day is a multiple of twenty-four. But I am saying, what if I would have told you the complete day, which means hours of i plus hours of j, it is exactly equal to, equal to twenty-four. Now, question boiled down to. Find number of such i and j pairs such that they sum up to your target value, which is twenty-four, which is fixed in this case. So, isn't it exactly same as that of a two-sum? In two-sum also, you have to find one of your i j pairs. But in this video, we saw all the approaches: brute force, optimal, more optimal, super optimal. In that, we ultimately saw that we can also find number of such i j pairs. And also return those pairs also, but now instead of saying that your hours of i and hours of j should be exactly equal to your target, it is saying that your hours of i and hours of j should be a multiple of target, which means whatsoever the target value is, it should be divisible by twenty four, which means that ultimately your this condition equal to target it change to equal to target mod twenty four. That should be zero. I want all those such i j pairs. Okay, it's simply now we know that it is a small change. We will apply the exact same thing which we learned in two sum. How would how what again? What we learned in two sum? We learned in two sum that I have this array of hours. I have a specific let's say hours of i. So I will go and search in my unordered map. For target minus hours of i, which is actually hours of j, I will search this in the previous array and check its count. How many such target minus hours of i are there? Those many number of pairs of h j and h i will be there. To be more precise, with an example, I will simply say I have twenty four hours in a day, right? Let's imagine I have twelve here. I have twelve here, twelve here. Okay, or let's to be more precise, let's let's take as fourteen. I have fourteen here. How many hours are remaining? I will have six plus four, ten hours here, ten hours here. So, I I will maintain the count of all these hours again, considering it is exactly I want it to be twenty four. Considering that part, let's break it down. So I know the count of ten hours is two. The count of as in the frequency of ten hours. Such how many such ten hours are there is two. If I am standing on this h of i, I will go and search what what I want. I want h of j. H of j is twenty four minus h of i, which is twenty four minus fourteen, which is ten. Give me how many such h of j's are there. He will say I have two h of j's. So so I can simply say I can form two pairs. One is ten fourteen, other is ten fourteen. That is how I can wow, balloons. That is how I can simply solve it. Again, if you have confusion, go watch this two sum video. Now coming or back when we know we can how we can simply solve a target value. Let's do the same thing. How? Oh, okay, if I am standing on twelve, I would ideally go and look for twenty four minus twelve. Forget right now that you are searching for a multiple. Just go exactly same. You want to search for 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 twenty four minus twelve, which is twelve, but you have no twelve previously, so. Nothing. I can add in my answer, but I should take this in consideration right now because this can help me future in future. So I will increase the count of twelve by one. Okay, frequency of twelve is now one. Okay, now I am here again. This is your h of i. You will go and look for what 
24 minus h of i which is 12 you will again go and look for how many such 12s are there your math will say bro you have 112 so increase the answer by one this answer says i have found one pair 12 12 which can form a 24 but rn where's the multiple thing bro hold on just keep on going with the flow now i know okay currently i have the number as 12 so my frequency of 12 has increased to 2 now okay now next number 30 with the previous example same i will go and look for 24 minus 30 ah i am looking for minus 6 as an r that's obviously wrong what to do okay convert this 30 to what is the extra r extra r is 6 extra r is 6 so can i converted this extra i only wanted something which i can subtract from 24 so i converted this okay i saw it's an extra r so do a modulo by 24 okay so 24 minus 6 i am looking for a 18 do i have a 18 no my map only contain a 12 and that to be the frequency of 2 i have no 18 so no adding in the answer okay and now ultimately you will have to take in consideration so what will you take in consideration will you take and say map of 30 has now become 1 will you say that obviously not why obvious because you are searching for a modulo value and you are assigning a natural value that is wrong so assign or basically assign the frequency as a modulo value itself so i will say map of 6 has now become 1 so map of 6 has now become 1 why i did that because i was searching for the modulo value itself that is the reason it is my responsibility to assign the modulo value only okay now let's go on to, go on to 24 i will do the exact same stuff 24 minus I realize that I have to do a modulo at every step. So I do a 24 minus 24 mod 24. So it will become a 24 minus 24 mod 24, which is 24 minus 0. So Aryan, are you saying that you will look for 24 as a value? I will say, if I will go and look for 24 as a value, I will never find it. Why? Because in my map or in my, my map, I'm storing a, I'm storing a R's mod 24. And anything mod, some value of mod, let's say it is mod, let's say it is mod, 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 it will always, again, this value is always, always, always less than mod. It will be between 0 and mod minus 1. So, if I will go and look for this 24 in my map, I will never ever find, I will never ever found, find it. I will never find it. What I will, what I should do now? Simply do again mod so i will do a again mod because and why i am able to do so many mods because i want only multiple as many times i do mod will never affect my answer that's a simple technique that if you do a number 5 if 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 let's say you do a number 25 mod 24 it will give you a 1 again do a mod 24 it will again give you a 1 do mod as many times it will still give you that number so that is the beauty of a mod so i can do a mod again the ratio value of zero now i will search for zero do i have a zero previously no obviously i don't now okay answer has not increased answer has only increased once so answer is so far one again i should take this also as consideration i will take this and say map of 24 mod 24 increase the frequency as one so frequency of zero has increased to one okay go on to the this element i will go and search for again 24 minus 24 mod 24 but then whatsoever value I get, I have to again do a mod with 24. Then I am searching for a zero. How many zero I have? I have one zero. Okay. I can form one pair, one more pair. And again, increase the map or the frequency of zero by one more, which is now it will become a two. So now I realized I will have one. I will have one. So far my answer is two. I will have two such pairs whose summation will be a multiple of 24. Cool. That is the only thing I see. You see how I gradually went on, went on and figured out that what all I need. So that is the reason ultimately you realize that in your simple for loop, you will simply do one thing, search for what search for current element. Let's say the current R is H search for do firstly do a mod with 24 subtraction. You have to search for the remaining part which means 24 minus this is the remaining part. You have to search for this, but this can, what if this is zero? So this can become 24. I would not have 24. So do a mod 24 again. 
this is what you will count as a frequency in your map or get as a frequency in your map. So let's see the code. It's exactly same. I grab the frequency, which will say R mod 20. Again, I have defined my mod as 24. So everything, everywhere you see a mod, it, it will be 24. R mod 24 is the key. Frequency, which means this value is the count. Cool. Now, ultimately, I went on, on to all the elements. For a specific element, I'll find the required R because I want to add up to 24. So 24 minus the current R will give me the required R. But make sure to do a modulo with mod. And thus, this is my required value of R in mod terms. Or, or I can say less than 24. Which means this required value will be in, in between 0 to 24. And ultimately, make sure to add its corresponding frequency in your answer because that may requirement I have. And ultimately, make sure to increase the frequency of R of I mod with the mod value and do a plus plus. So that how many such mod I have increased so far. And ultimately, get the answer. Cool. You can easily see you are using a map O of n space. You are using a O of n loop to iterate on the O of n, n elements. So n time. So time and space, both O of n, same as that of two sum. Cool. I hope you guys got it again. It is same, but people get confused in those more things. Never get confused. Gradually keep on going and figure out again again. Make sure mod always is safe. Do a mod as many times as you want. It will always be safe. Cool. Bye-bye. Take care. See you. Goodbye.